from Whitley City, Kentucky, here to share a couple of my artwork, hoping that you will enjoy this short video. I hope that it won't be too long, maybe 10, 5 or 10 minutes. I doubt it will be 10, but at least it's going to be in the neighborhood of four or five minutes. But what I want to show you today is a, a couple of a, a sculpture and a an abstract painting. The sculpture is titled Grandma Randy. And Grandma Randy was my grandma. She was my grandma Maxwell. Grandma Maxwell painted me. She 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 really uh, painted me a lot. And I enjoyed that. When I was about four or five year old, no more than five, probably about four, uh, I would get take rides from our house to grandma's house. And grandma would uh, fix the rice for me. And uh, mom and dad always said grandma was spoiling me. But that's okay. Grandma loved me and I love grandma. And I, I love old people, period, also. I just love old people, because old people were always uh, seemingly kind to me, and I always tried to be kind to them. And now that I've got old, I try to be good to young people, that's also. And uh, in every way that I can, I want to be kind to them, as I want them to, uh, to uh, grow up and, and, and respect the older people. God is good to us, and God has given us people in our lives that has been a blessing to us. I have received many blessings from many people, and I stop and think about so many that have been a big help to me along this journey of life, helping me to make a lot of decisions that were positive. And if I hadn't listened to their instructions, their encouragement, and the things that they have taught me to to do, I would probably have been a different person. But by listening to friends and and those that I love, grand like my grandmother, but not only her, um, my parents, my family, my brothers and sisters. I had um, eight brothers and sisters, and I loved every one of them. But especially uh, love my family, whoever they were, whatever. But my grandma was always very special to me, Grandma Randy. I loved her so much. She passed away before I was uh, even in school. I was five years old when she had been a big help to me. And I could start naming them, and maybe I will in, in time to come, uh, people that has been a blessing to me. And then the next uh, artwork that I have to show is uh, one that I, I, I love it. I love this painting. It means something to me because when we look at things, the beauty of it is in the eye of the beholder, of course. Diff we look at things differently. Each person sees different, something different in each thing. Even as I look around here this afternoon and I look at the trees and I look at the flowers, I look at the uh, God's creation, and I see so much beauty in God's creation, and I know that's, that's the way I view it, and I hopefully, and sometimes I think I wish everybody could see what I see in God's creation, and I'm just glad to be a, a child of God. I've been born again. I'm saved. I'm the way to heaven, and one day when this life is over, how precious it would be to have been able to be a help to someone on this journey. And now I want to show you the, the painting that I have in mind. I'll show you the back of it first. And I guess you can still see Bebo Albert in there, which is a representative of my sister Jennifer. But here I'll show you the front of it. And the title of it is In the Eye of the Beholder. I don't know whether you can see the eye or not, but through this area here is the eye. And look, as the eye is looking out over everything. What does the eye see? What what do you see when you look out at nature? What do you look at, at see when you look at God's creation? I see so much beauty. I see so much beauty. I know there's a lot of hate in our world today, but I see the beauty 
of it. That's what I view. It, 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 thankful to be able to show you some more of my my art, my artwork. And uh, I don't know whether you've noticed in behind me, I have a couple of mobiles. This is a mobile made out of pine knots. And it hangs here all the time on my porch. And the wind sometimes gets in here and just turns it around and around. And I see beauty in that. But I also have another mobile up here that is a smaller one that I have painted. And uh, I just watch, sit and watch these sometime, and I think, God has made these things so far that we can, uh, the wind to blow them is so gentle. You can see the peace and the, the contentment, and you can see, you can just see so much beauty. Thank you again. Good night and God bless.